Where is that loser intern? In today's interview, I want you to explain how Twitch detects and blocks messages that are toxic. So what happens is when you send a message, it actually hits Twitch's IRC Edge server, which maintains a WebSocket connection. Before broadcasting it, it goes to Clue, which is their message processing service written in Go. Clue checks a Reddish cache lookup, basically saying, is this user bad? And that gets returned in like six, seven milliseconds. And how does it catch toxic content when users constantly bypass it with creative spelling? That's where AutoMod comes in. It's Twitch's machine learning algorithm trained on millions of messages. It doesn't look for specific words per se, but it understands meaning and intent. The same phrase could be friendly in one channel, but toxic in the other. The model runs interference every 50 milliseconds and then outputs a toxicity score. What happens based on that score? There's actually three paths. Firstly, high toxicity scores get blocked immediately. Medium toxicity scores get put in a moderator queue where people can manually review them. And then low toxicity scores actually pass through. This prevents false positives while catching the generally toxic ones. But what if I get banned and then I immediately create a new account? Twitch's suspicious user detection tracks behavioral fingerprints. Things like typing patterns, message timing, vocabulary, and network metadata. When a new account matches a recently banned user's signature, it gets flagged to moderators and it may actually be shadow banned automatically. The system queries a persistent database storing user behavior history with each message that Clue processes. This is impressive, intern. How are you learning these foundations? Oh, I just go to learn.nextwork.org and do a bunch of hands-on projects. Yeah, and I get documentation that I can post to LinkedIn or GitHub or anywhere else. Well, you got the job.